Hello guys, welcome. This is Mythbusters, the first experiment. I've already taken a look at the demo. This is the full release, and the devs have sent it to me a little bit early. Um, I think it's a, I think it's part of a prologue, actually, rather than a full, full release. Um, but let's jump in and let's see. Let's see what happens. Press any key to start. Okay, go to the myth board in order to choose a myth. That looks like I only have one to choose from, so let's select that. Myth board, Heroes Gambit. Action movie heroes tend to find ways to survive a grenade blast within seconds. Is it possible to survive a grenade explosion by covering it with an object and hiding behind a suitable cover? A bucket, a barrel, or maybe a wooden box? I've done this one. I have done this one. Okay, let's do it again. I think we'll take Sergeant Daniel. Design experiments on a blueprint. Okay, is this the blueprint? Press E. Run for your life. Okay. So, this is where all the mini games come in, right? Click and drag to throw the ball. Make sure that all objects drawn with a white line disappear. Breakable objects, filled objects, the ball bounces away from it. Dotted line objects turns into a breakable object once the ball passes through it. Thin line removed from the board when the ball passes through it. Red object, the ball cannot touch it. If it does, the game ends. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. So I've got to, I've got to throw this. I've got to throw this so that it bounces off all sides. Well, that's quite tricky then. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to be throwing this way. It's like the opposite of what I'm trying to do. You, you'd think you'd press there and drag that way to throw it that way, but it's the opposite way around, which is a smidge confusing to say the least. Okay, 70% uh, fill. Determine the area percentage. Click with within a body to fill it. Select apply button to check it. Uh, so you want me to add 5% to the fill. So that would be 15. That would be 7. So we're looking... Oh. Let's see. You're going to fill 5% of this. Well, yeah, that's probably about right. 16! Oh my god! Alright, well that's got to be 5% then. Being such a douchebag game. Oh really? Come on! 6% and then 5%? It's just stupid, that one. It's not a mark of my intelligence at all. <laughs> Right, click and drag to move the tile. Move the tiles so that a path connecting the two yellow tiles is created. Roger. Okay. Well, we can't... How do I rotate? Start end. Tiles that need to be connected with each other. Movable tiles. Solid tiles. Empty tiles. So... Oh, I see. Like that. So I've got 60 moves in order to achieve this. Well... If I go, oh, no, no, oh, hang on, that's, oh, it's got to get to there, oh, okay, okay, um, Okay, all right, let's restart. Is there a restart? Oh, so I've wasted all those moves, have I? Okay. 
Is there no restart button? Oh, come on. I just wanted to have a look and sort of have a... I can't move the yellow ones. Oh, I see. Well, that completely changes my plan. Um, okay. Just, I guess I'm just going to have to move them all around until the, the counter gets down to zero. Oh, that's the quickest way. Try again. Thank you so much for your, uh, making that nice and easy. Um, Oh no, that's not going to work. Bugger, I did it again. Try again. So, uh, the problem is, I've only got two down, so I'm going to have to move this nasty little bugger over here. Um, and then this one's going to have to come over. Thirty-four moves. I bet you could have done it quicker. Who knows? Who knows? It took me a little while to figure out. So the games themselves aren't necessarily completely obvious at first. I got one move. Okay, click and drag to move the sticks. Eight plus two. Oh, I did this before. Solve the equation by moving the specified number of sticks. A so one stick. See, look, five plus one equals, yeah, five plus one equals three plus three. Open the notebook, press Q, uh, Heroes Gambit, run for your life, prepare the grenade and build a test mock-up when you are ready. Place everything on the testing ground so that the test mock-up does not get destroyed. One grenade, one test mock-up. Use heavy cover. Okay. I'm sure I've already yeah, done this. I'm pressing X and C to flip page. Uh, but... Oh, I see. It's There's a tutorial on the right. Okay, I didn't see that. You can find additional objects under the myth description. It is worth completing them in order to gain extra cards for your episode. However, they are not required to unlock more tests or myths. Okay. Current page number, page count, and additional information on how to use the notebook are displayed at the bottom right corner of the notebook. Change... Notebook page, press C. Right, now it works. Good. On this page, you can find the table of contents. Yellow icons show places in which there is something to do as a part of that experiment. You will find detailed information on a relevant page. Roger that. Okay, so I've got a little marker now. Over here. What is going on? Every time I walk this way, the game just freezes. Right, so I'm going to need a wood saw piece. Roger. I'm going to need some wooden planks. How many wooden planks? Six pieces, so one. One. 
wooden beam pieces. Completely didn't look to see how many I need. Two. Brilliant. So four extra. <laughs> well done, me. <clears throat> What's this? I'm going to need a hammer. Nails. I'm going to need nails. I'm going to need eight nails. Roger. And I'm going to need... Whatever that is. Piezo electric igniter. Oh, that was the wrong button. So I'm going to need one of those. Over here I'm going to need... A grenade. 600 bucks for a grenade. Good lord. We do need a start button. I remember it saying. And what's this? A wrench. How many wrenches do I need? Need a saw. I guess I just need a wrench. <clears throat> Regardless. Whatever I think I need, I need a wrench and a hammer. I think that's probably what's going on there. Right, so do I have absolutely everything I need? Don't see any more markers. Check your notebook on page three. Okay. Uh, this is the list of necessary components needed to create an item. On the left you can see the name, the middle shows the required quantity, and the icon on the right shows the place in which you can obtain the component. Okay, yeah. You can often find useful information and hints on the pages of the notebook, like remove and mount. Boom. Okay. So now I'm going to go make the grenade. So add a grenade to the table by holding down the mouse button. Holding down the mouse button. Yep. One grenade. Change the mode to Z. It's assembly mode and everything goes dark around the edges. You'll notice. And remove the grenade fuse by holding down the mouse button. Mount a grenade piezo fuse by holding down the mouse button. And then take item. Press the button to take the item with you. This button. Open my backpack. Press I. Move wrench to the tool belt. I'm going to move the hammer. No, okay, fine. I won't move the hammer. During the game, you will be able to use tools which can be recognized by their yellow background. You can buy some of the tools in the store, but some of them will have to be created on the table in the small workshop. Move all tools from your back backpack to the belt. That's what I was trying to do, and you wouldn't let me. Okay, is that a tool? I, I suspect that's... No, that's not a tool, is it? Yellow background. So that's a tool. And that's a tool. Okay. Funny looking tools. Uh, to open the quick tool selection window, press tab. Okay, me like you very much. Move the mouse to select the appropriate tool. Then choose a wrench to confirm the selection. Press tab. Oh. Check my notebook on page four. Sometimes we have to prepare some of the pieces of the component in a place marked with an icon. You can find detailed information about the place on the page indicated in the orange box. Go to page 5 of the notebook. Read the contents of this page. Wooden plank piece. Quantity required 1. Wooden beam piece. Quantity required 1. Tip. Perfectly cut planks in the green zone. Give two pieces of material instead of one. Okay, requires a wood saw. Understood. So, now we go to the wood saw. You stutters, I'm noticing. 
Right, let's assemble. We'll mount the saw that we've got. Why have I got a metal saw? Weird. Mount. Mount. Ah, uh, mount. Wrench. So, wrench. Hmm. So it said, press tab to confirm, but I think I need to click. Yeah. So clicking works. Pressing tab does not. Or so it seems. So look, wrench. Who knows what's going on? Right, assemble the saw and prepare it for mounting. I see. See, look, so I cl clicked on that four times before it actually did it. Um, right. So I think I've assembled the saw. Saw information H. I'm pressing H. Nothing is happening. Uh... Right, so just press escape to come out of that then. Right, E to use. Uh, I need a wooden plank. There's like no information here about what I'm doing. Right, so you have to press down on the left mouse button and try and let go when it's in the green, which is super hard. Oh, it is really hard. I think I screwed up pretty much all of that wood. I've got loads of wood I don't need. Uh, <clears throat> so now I need a wooden beam piece. Oh, it's so difficult. I dare say when you've done it a hundred times, it'll be easy, but... When you've literally played it for the first time, even though I've done this once before. Quite hard. Page four. Page four. Right, how do I know... Oh, there we go. Page four. Requires a hammer. When creating an item, it may be required to use the relevant tool. The right tool will be indicated by an icon of that tool. So, if I go now to hammer... What is that thing? Looks hazardous, whatever it is. Right, um, okay, so we're in here. We're going to craft a dude. We're going to make a dude. So we have a wooden beam piece. We have a very badly cut wooden beam piece. Perfect. Is that in? Okay. Other piece here. I can see another piece here. Let's mock up middle with bonnet. Oh, that looks rude. <laughs> Test mock up left side. Test mock up right side. Then we come around the back. And we hammer these bad boys in. I'm not sure if I meant to keep clicking it or just hold it. No. Keep clicking is the way. Clickety click 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 click. So it's in, so it stops going red. Christ almighty.
Take item. Good. Right, transfer the test mark up to the truck. And the truck is here. How do I put the test mark up down? Drop a test mark up. And then head to the shooting range. How do I do that? Aha! Head to the shooting range. That makes perfect sense. The truck is at the back, but we're going to leave through the front. Of course. Shooting range. Right, here we go. So I'm trying to work out exactly what I'm playing here, because at the moment this is feels very, very familiar um, to what I did last time. Definitely some stutters going on. Um, right, where are we going? Check your notebook on page six. Okay, roger that. Startup console. Here you can start the myth and activate explosives. Uh, used to reduce the radius of the explosion. Zone for test elements. Space for all large test objects required to start the myth busting. Objects for covering explosives. Used to reduce the radius of the explosion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. On the pages marked with the round yellow icon, you can find information about the experiment on the testing grounds. This page is worth reading before starting the test. Go to page 7. Here you can find key information needed to perform the experiment. And then I need to go to page 8. So the size of the blast zone will vary depending on what you cover the explosive with. I've only got one. Lethal zone. Metal cover guarantees survival. High destruction zone. Wooden cover guarantees survival. Low destruction zone. Plastic cover guarantees survival. Okay. Page 8. Remember, when in doubt, consult the notebook, as it is the best place to find all the knowledge you will need to complete the myth. Tip. Here you will start the experiment and start the test sequence. You need to have an appropriate tool in order to start the test. Requires a start button. Roger that. So, let's... Oh, now the gate's open. So we can come in here. And... Check your notebook on page seven. Oops, pressing the wrong button. Um, okay, take a grenade from your tool belt and put it in the right place. Grenade. Placed. Right, so now we have our safety zones. Um... So anything past here, okay, Roger, Roger, Roger. Check your notebook on page eight. Yep, I'm checking my notebook on page eight. So now what do you want me to do? What is this? Nothing. Check your notebook on page 8. Oh, sorry. I was on the wrong page. I see. Prepare the starting position. That was my bad. So, we go tools, we go starting block, and we place. Start the experiment. What? Are you serious? I haven't done any of the prepping. Press the mouse button to grab the item. Oh. Put test objects in the appropriate slots and protect them from the explosion. Is 
So metal to protect him from zone one. Cover the explosive to reduce its firepower. Yep. Detonate the grenade. <laughs> Experiment complete. Press escape to finish. Okay. Here you can see what you have managed to achieve during the experiment. On the left side of the screen, you can see which cards can be received for your achievement. Press space to move on. Once you restart the experiment, you lose your achievements. Everything will be restored to the state at the beginning of the experiment and, will, and you will be able to try it again. If you want to get your achievements, all you have to do is finish the experiment. Experiment complete. You can throw away used elements after finishing the experiment. Some of them you can get back from the scrapyard. This option allows you to save money, but some of the objects will have to be made again from scratch. Press to move on. You can also repair everything for a price. Everything will be fixed to the state at the beginning of the experiment. Make a choice and finish the experiment. Uh, so it's going to cost me $700. Straight away. You have enough cards to edit the episode. Go to your laptop in the Buster Hall. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, right, so I need to go upstairs and edit the episode. Here you can check the inbox and read the mail. Sometimes you'll find nice messages from fans or useful hints. Here you can check the progress of your experiments as well as the episodes you've mounted and changes to your budget and popularity those resulted in. Here you can create new episodes in order to gain money and popularity. To edit the episode, select Mythbuster Studio. Each episode has five empty slots that can be filled with collected cards. Move the first card to one of these slots. Impressing the audience often means doing the impossible. Fearless. Incredible stunts are respected and admired, especially when it's actually more scary than dangerous. First grenade test is completed. It seems plausible. With time and patience, you can craft the perfect plan and you can be sure there won't be any doubts about it. Pondering on an idea for a while can reveal a new perspective on a problem. This is when the best solutions can be found. People like the satisfaction of a job well done. When the preparation montage kicks in, they can expect an amazing payoff by the end. He has been working with guns and explosives for years. Those experiences and anecdotes will be shared with further generations. Okay. So. Start with the bullseye. Each card takes a portion of the episode's airtime. The duration of the card in the episode is displayed in the upper left corner of the card. Each episode must be at least 45 minutes, but no longer than an hour. Right. After completing the entire episode, you will be able to record it if its length is appropriate. You will get money for further work on experiments. Popularity, on the other hand, will rise over time. Fill in gaps and maintain good episode length. Okay, so we have to finish with that, surely. Preparation montage. Episode is too long. Oh no, we're going to have to drop Sergeant Daniels. That's a shame. We'll swap him with that. Current popularity bonus 500. Earn 2,000 popularity to get a higher bonus. Impact on budget 2,250. Impact on popularity 5,200. Okay. 
The higher popularity you have during assembling the episode, the higher budget bonus you can get. Try to get the best balance between your popularity and the budget when picking cards for an episode. To get a reward for the episode, select Record an Episode. Okay, then exit. What do you want me to do now? Hero's Gambit, run for your life, three of three. Uh, attempts one, tested, most mock up saved, tested, okay. Attempts one, attempts four, puzzle solved, attempts, puzzle solved. Okay, don't understand what I'm looking at here. Uh, that's the episode, that's the budget. Popularity didn't go up at all. something down on the floor let's go have a look is it a new board a new myth why is it so high oh hang on what's this myth board balloon chair okay here is a myth for fans of unconventional ways of leaving the ground and flying using mundane components can a chair with balloons attached to it lift a human can you maneuver easily while flying what altitude and speed can you achieve buckle up because if you have a fear of heights you might want to close your eyes Unlocks experiments. Is it a bird? Is it a chair? Land on the island? Oh my god, okay. People with good technical know-how can be intriguing to the audience. Sometimes all you need is ambitious people that are fun to work with. Celebrities can make the audience stick around. So, um... That seems to give us a lot. I mean, that's double positive for George. Let's take George. Double positive. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I have to go to the blueprint first. Is it a bird? Is it a chair? Determines the area percentage. Click within a body to fill it. Select apply button to check. Fill 87% plus 5. Ah. Oh. Wait a minute. Am I trying to fill it with 85% or with 5%? It must be 85%, right? So I'm going to say that's about half. I'm going to say that's about 85%. Wait a minute. What? 48%. It's, but it's changing. Ah. Oh. Oh, it changes every time. At 46%. So you've got to be within 5% of what they're asking you to do. Okay. okay. Good. Right. Starting to figure that out. Mini game number two. I clicked on it. Okay, good. Click on the correct answer and confirm your to uh, choice. How many bits does a byte have? Oh, God. I want to say eight, but... I'm a bit rusty. Thank God for that. All those years in university were not wasted at all. Click and drag to move the tile. Move the tile so the path connecting the two yellow tiles is created. Uh, so, okay, 26 moves. So, bomb, bomb, bomb. Nice, easy one. Thank you. What's next? Click and drag to throw the ball. Make sure that all objects drawn with the white line disappear. Holy moly oleos. Alright. So, I'm thinking somewhere like that. Good job. What's this one? Solve the equation by moving the specified number of sticks. One move. Ah, 8 minus 2 equals... I was going to take that out, and it would have equaled 6, but then... Ah, so I'm going to turn this into a 5. Oh, hang on. What does a 5 look like? It's not a 5, it's a 6. What am I talking about? 
nothing quite like confusing yourself or making yourself look like an idiot at the same time. Right. Um, oh. Uh, check your notebook on page three. Is it a bird? Is it a chair? Prepare Buster and the chair. Get the right amount of ballast and balloons and take to the air whilst flying steer yourself to get the most points possible here's a tip don't shoot all of the balloons achieve a score higher than 100 complete the route in less than 45 seconds okay what page do i need to look at page three buy required thing things things from the notebook okay, so we're going to need a water bottle how many water bottles did I need? Is that a large bottle? No. Okay, try and pay attention. I need nine large bottles. I need pork gelatin. And again, I didn't look to see how much. And... Um, Polypropylene granules. That's this one here. Check your notebook on page six. Go to the pumping station. So we need the granules and the ballistic gel. Just on page eight. Oh, this is going to be ballistic gel, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Mount the bottle to be filled. Large bottle. Yes, that is a large bottle. Goodness me. Install the water tank in the selected slot. It's tank installed. Put gelatin into the bucket. Uh-huh. Tips. Click and hold the valve to start pumping the substance. Release the mouse to stop pumping. Remember that each valve corresponds to a different slot. Okay. During filling, you can see the current fill state of your bottle on the display along with the substance proportions. Be careful not to reach 100% or else the bottle will explode! You can find information in your notebook on the substance proportions required in order to get a specific mix mixture. Mixture. So we need 80-90% water and 10-20% to gelatin. What do I fill this with? So that's got pork gelatin. Use the appropriate taps to fill the bottle with the correct proportion. Get, get at the pump station. Ballistic gel. Oh my god. Portion of helium. 90% to 100%. Ballistic gel. Oh my god, this is so confusing. Use the appropriate taps to fill the bottle with the correct proportion. So that's water. Right, so it says 90% water. I should have been 80%, shouldn't it? And then 10% pork gelatin. It's going to explode. I'm absolutely sure of it. Which one is pork gelatin? <laughs> okay. Alright. So, let's do this again. Let's go 80% water. Ten percent gelatin. To make ballistic gel. Did that work? Oh, something popped out. There's so many flipping things popping up all over the screen. I can't see them all all the time. Uh, again, do another one? I don't know. Try it. Large bottle. Still making ballistic gel, so we'll do 80%. And then we'll 
do. Okay, check your notebook on page six. Read about Buster Hand. Ballistic gel hand. Go to the foundry and make a ballistic... Where's the foundry? Huh. Ballistic gel hand. <clears throat> okay. So I'm using the gel from the bottle in the mould to make the hand. Got it? Take the hand. Make a second hand. Okay. So we have two hands. Uh... Make a second hand from polyprylene granules. Have I done this wrong? Yes, I did it wrong. I need to make a plastic hand. Whoops. Okay, fine. Attention to detail. That's the key. Oh my god. Item checklist. Mythbusters. The game offers you a way to simplify the experiment preparations. The next tutorial step will be a short introduction to this feature. Remember, following the list is optional and is not needed to complete the step. If it's not needed to complete the step, then why am I being forced to do it? Uh, buy a metal thingy. Steel rods, uh, 15. Screws. 13 screws. I need a large bottle. I need two large bottles. I need one bottle of water. And then I need some steel rod pieces. Have I got to work this out myself now? Wait a minute. I bought some steel rod. I need 22 ballistic gel. Oh my god. So I need one ballistic gel torso. Go for female. What? 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 I need four ballistic gel. Okay. Right. So, I need to make a lot more ballistic gel, I guess, is, is what's going on here. So, let's go... Whoa, there's nothing connected to this valve. Idiots. And, okay, so that's like 10%, and then fill with water. Look, throw away water. If I miss that by accident, I could so easily throw away the water. I've got to be careful here. Added to backpack. Oh, Let me help if I put the bottle on. It's definitely easier doing it this way. I can confirm that. Uh, right, let's see if we can do this now. So we need a torso. We'll have a lovely lady torso. Why wouldn't you? Fantastic. And then we're going to have uh, two feet.
It says here. Um, hang on, what's this? What is this? Right. So I need eight limbs. Eight. What kind of a person are we making here? Or is it like upper thigh, calf muscle? Yeah, I suppose. That kind of makes sense. I'm going to have to make some more ballistic gel, I think. We don't have enough. Yep. Okay, so we've got to make some more gel. Coming out of uh, bottles, though. Aha! We're out of water. So, ah, good. So you have to press E to throw it away. So I couldn't have done that by accident at all. Big bottle of water. And uh, away we go. All right, this is pretty good. I'm starting to get into this. It's pretty complex stuff. If it wasn't holding my hand, I think I'd probably struggle a bit. To be fair, though, I think... If the tutorial were a bit more descriptive, I would probably be fine. But, um, we certainly have some language barriers at some points. And I know this sort of hickledy pickledy paperwork system is part of the show, and it makes sense. Um, <laughs> it's a little confusing at times. I'm sure once you're acclimatised to it, it'll be fine, but straight off the bat, when, you f when you're just starting out, yeah, it's a bit, a bit overwhelming. Right, and what do we need now? Need some more of these. A pelvis, where's the pelvis? Oh, there's the head. Need a head. Where is the pelvis, then? Ah, pelvis. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I've got a pelvis, oh yeah. Mm-hmm, pelvis, oh yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's get it done. Four limbs remaining. And then we're going to have to make a buster. Now, steel rod piece. Now, I don't know if that's a steel rod or a piece of a steel rod, like a like an offcut. Oh, oh, of course. That's why I got the metal blade. I'm going to cut the rods into pieces. Now I get it. Oh, man. Seems so obvious when it, when it clicks in your head. You're like, ah, how did I not get that straight away? Right, let's go make the rod pieces. So, assemble this. And we need to go into Z. Oh, uh, I need to pick my wrench. And now I can take it out. This is cool. I like that. This. this is, this is, this is cool. I'm liking Remove the wood saw, come out of disassemble mode, go into assembly mode, and we'll go for a metal saw, then we'll mount it. This is cool. I'm really starting to like this. Still a bit quirky and weird, but in a pretty good way. Again, though, I'm having to click that like three or four times before it actually does it. Right. Use. We are going for steel rod parts. Yep. Yes. No. Yes. Sort of. Ah. There you get, like, some sort of bonus for doing perfect in a row. No! One day, one day I'll get perfects all across the board. Right, so we've got 25 million steel rod pieces here. 
And now we just have to craft the buster. This is so cool. I'm really starting to get into this now. Right, we're going to make a buster. Ooh. So that's what a buster looks like. So we'll start with the hips. Just a shake of the hips. No, put your hand on your hips. That's how it goes. Now bend your knees in time. That's the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I've uh, I've made like three videos this week, and uh, I've sung that song in two of them. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool if there was a Rocky Horror Picture Show game? I'd like to see that. That would be funny. Rest in peace, Meatloaf. Right, so now we have a head. Nice sound. And then we have uh, a nice torso. And then we have limb limb and limb this is so cool limb it's alive it's alive that's kind of yeah it's going to end up going there isn't it um right now this one i think is meant to be a plastic hand right I don't know why. Why does it need to be a plastic hand? I don't understand that. Who knows, right? Who knows? Perhaps it needs to hold the controls or something like that. I mean, if, if that's the level of detail they've gone to, you know, the fact that you have to have one plastic hand because that plastic hand has to hold the controls, then touche. Fair play. Well done. Click. 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 It's like you got to double click it. Oh, that's what you do. One, two. Why isn't that explained? One, two. That's why it's taken me so many clicks to do it. Because you're supposed to double click. But at no point is that explained. Wait a minute. What's going on here with this bit? Okay. <laughs> Weird. Right. We have... Oh, that's a... An unfortunate view. Take Buster. Shouldn't shouldn't Buster be called Bustet or something? Or Busty. <laughs> uh, silly. Right, uh, so I need one large bottle, one jerry can, and some clay. So let's grab the clay. One large bottle. And a jerry can. I couldn't do it, but Jerry can. <laughs> okay. I'll uh I'll shut up now. Put the clay into the bucket. Oh, we've not finished yet. Which bucket? This one? Fill it with clay. Check your notebook on page eight. Check clay mass proportions. Do you know what? As soon as this tutorial goes away, I'm gonna struggle like Billio to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. 20% clay, 20% water. Okay. Oh, no bottle. Good shout. 20% clay. 20% water. Oh, so you could do like 50-50 really, can't you? Is that going to be clay? Unknown substance. Bugger! I screwed it up. Alright, let me go get another bottle. <laughs> I'm trying to be too smart. I'm trying to get too much clay. Uh, too much, whatever the hell it is I'm making. Right, let's do 
40 in a smidge and 40 in a smidge, yeah? What's happened? Man. We need to get some more water. I'm going to make the show um, go into bankruptcy if I carry on like this. Right, there we go. So that should be... Yes, excellent. Create ballast in the foundry. They fill ballast. Excellent. God, I need so many more things. I need a gun. I need ammunition. I need some balloons. And a helium tank. Four large bottles. Not sure what they're for. Need a chair. Need eight pieces of rope. Six balloons. They must be big, these balloons, right? And a start button. Where was the start button? Oh, is it not going to sh. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. I need this game to hold my hand through every single experiment. This is crazy. Check helium proportions on page 8. Okay, helium tank 90 to 100%. So... Oh. Am I supposed to put it in a bottle or straight into the... This is so cool! I like this thing! Am I supposed to put it into the balloon or into the bottle? Right, so I just need... 90% helium, right? I can't see the... I can't see the screen. That goes up really fast. Nearly exploded the bottle. That almost happened. Oh, and again. Check your notebook on page 11. Read about the chair frame. Okay. Chair frame. Testing grounds. Rocket launch site. Balloon chair. Um, I need one chair, two rope, one buster. We don't know how many helium balloons. And we don't know how much ballast. Uh, so I need a rectangular steel profile piece, nine of, steel piece, uh, steel pipe piece, two of, or wooden beam frames, etc. Get the right pieces for the chair frame on the saw. So steel, it's going to weigh more, but be stronger. So I'm thinking wooden. So I think, I think we'll go wooden. Then we'll go wooden beam. That's a wooden beam. One of those. Get the right pieces for the chair frame on the saw. I'm slowly getting my head into this, I am. Uh, so we need to go disassemble mode. See, when you take a bolt out, you don't need to double click it. It's just when you're putting a bolt in. I'll double check that in a second just to make sure. So I'm a little bit uncertain of that statement myself. Right, so now we go to mount. We'll put the wooden saw in and lock it up. Right, so I'm going to click it. Nothing. I'm going to click it. Nothing. Click. 
Okay, so I think I think I'm right. I think it's a double click. So let's do it. Double click. 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 Double click. There's proof. So now you know. Now you won't have the same problem I was having. Right, wooden cylinder. Let's get rid of this. Oh. Wooden beams. Ah. Hard. It's full of mini games, but I've got to be honest. Some games that are full of mini games I find really irritating, but I really enjoy that one. Even though I'm rubbish at it. Head to the rocket launch site. Oh my god, we're actually ready to go. But I haven't built the frame. I haven't built the frame. Do I not have to build the frame? Interesting. Rocket launch site, here we go. Right, this is all new now. I don't know any of this. This is completely unique. No! Don't do that, you spanner. Take Buster to the safe zone. Making sure to walk. Oh, wow, look at this. This is so cool. Right, this is the safe zone. That's so cool, I think. I think. How do I put Buster in the safe zone? How do I get Buster in my hand? Oh! <laughs> Did you see my deliberate faux pas? I haven't actually got Buster out of the back of the truck. Seems so obvious now. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm tired and I've had no coffee this morning. Right. We'll carefully put Buster down there. Prepare the starting position. Right, so if we go to the that thing and bring all the tools down, in fact that's the only one. Perfect. Assemble the chair for the experiment. Uh, install one ballast. Looks like an electric chair, doesn't it? It's horrid. Oh. Well, why did it put ballast that side? I was trying to put it on the back. How is that left? I think that's uh, I think that's a mistake. Anyway, right, we have one piece of ballast. Uh, install six balloons. Ah, wooden chair frame. Two pieces of rope. An extra two pieces of rope. Add the balloons. Right, I'm going to add... Uh, um, what's his name? Buster. Now. Because... I want the extra weight. I don't want it to take off before we're ready, basically. Look, it's trying to take off already. This is so cool. Do you know what? I don't think I'm being uh, generous enough with my praise of this game. This game is awesome. They have clearly put a lot of time and effort into this game. And I, I for one, am very impressed. Look at that. It's trying to take off. Start the experiment. This, now I've got to steer, but it hasn't told me how I steer at all. Land on the island while trying to get as many points as possible. You can move with WASD. However, you cannot turn around. You can only move forward. Flying altitude can be controlled by shooting balloons or by dropping ballast. In the bottom left corner of the screen, you have valuable info regarding your flight. Good luck. Oh, 
Oh. How do I get rid of ballast? Oh, I shoot it like this. This is so cool! Right, so I missed the circle because I didn't know what I was doing. Look at this, I actually have a gun. That's awesome. Altitude is stable. Slightly dropping, but not very fast. Right, let's go for a green. Oh my god. I shot two and just instantly fell out the sky. Oh, I'm restarting. I am restarting. That was a, a terrible practice. At what altitude is the circly thing? <laughs> this is so cool. I am mega impressed. Oh, please don't drop too quick. Did I shoot it too early? This is awesome! My god! Did I go through it? I don't think I went through it. Right, we know how to do it now. Shooting one balloon is, is enough to sort of maintain your altitude, but you do it twice and you're dropping fast super fast which is super fly for a white guy so I'm guessing as soon as my feet go over the island that's when I shoot yeah island okay before the island this is hard in a good way. Right, let's remove the ballast. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, two, two, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. I think it's about fifty. Yeah, look at that, right through the middle. Boom. No noise, no sort of confirmation that we did it. Score 100. Okay, that's all we got. So before we get to the island then, so if I bring my vi visibility up to the edge of the seat, and then wait for the little orange dot to hit the island, I think that's probably what right about now. Oh no, <laughs> we ended up in the water. So we did it. We got all three. Fantastic. End the experiment. Is it a bird? Is it a chair? Land on the island. Tick. I am the champion. Achieve a score higher than 100. Tick. Hang on. I got a score of 100. So how did I get a score higher than 100? Hmm. Well, for a science experiment show, there's there's an, in, an inaccuracy there that uh, is not acceptable. Aerial Roadhog, complete the route in less than 45 seconds. End the experiment. Uh, throw it all away? Yeah, throw it all away. That was awesome. You have enough cards to edit the episode. Go to your laptop in the Buster Hall. Right. Now, the, I'll be honest, the whole editing of the show thing is still a bit of a mystery to me. Still trying to figure it out in my in my head exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing these things. Right, so... Uh, he's 20 minutes... Pandering, pondering, sorry, pondering, on an idea for a while can reveal a new perspective. Yeah, okay, the perfect plan. The basics of the work, Mythbusters, no test can be done without them. 
So that's quite long. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, The thing is, though, is so long. Do I have to have five cards? That's my query. Can I just have four cards, perhaps? So I can squeeze one more thing in. So I could go like this. Oh, no, that's 15 minutes. Sorry. Sorry. Um, a flash of genius. That looks pretty good to me. Let's do it. I think I'm supposed to be paying more attention to this thing here. Current popularity bonus, 2,500. Earn 10,000 popularity to get a higher bonus. So I'm wondering if some of the... Oh, okay, yeah, I've just spotted it. Yeah, at the bottom there are like indicators annoyingly when you hover over it the little arrow thing disappears that's a bit irritating uh so yeah okay so the next episode i guess i'll uh do a better job of that balloon chair is it a bird is it a plane tested solved Okay, so we've done all of that. Budget difference is 2,750. Popularity difference, 5,200. 3,500, so that cost more, but we got more, less popularity, actually. Mm. So that's probably not the best episode, that one. Still, uh, budget and popularity. I think we're maintaining an even keel. I think this bit here is a bit simplified um, but I kind of feel like it I feel like it's more complicated but it isn't and that's confusing me a smidge right so that's it that's the first experiment it says thank you for playing Mythbusters the first experiment add Mythbusters the game to your wish list to stay updated about the development and stay in touch on our social media I have got to say that really grew on me this time um, I remember the first time I played it, I found it very confusing, but this time not so much. And I love, I love the balloon experiment. That was so cool. Um, just wonder how long is it going to take for each um, experiment to come out? Because it's been a couple of months since I played the first one. So it's going to take a while. How, how many experiments are they going to have in total that's my question anyway if you want to know more you can go to facebook twitter or even um uh, uh, instagram and uh i guess that's the best place to uh, get some information oh actually they actually have a discord as well and i have no idea what icon that is if you know what that is please let me know in the comments below but yeah um i'm really impressed actually i found that extremely interesting and I can't wait for the next uh, episode, or the next experiment, I should say. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.